The vestments should be laid out in the sacristy before Mass in the opposite order in which they are put on. First the chasuble, then the stole, then the maniple, the cincture, the alb, and the amice. When the priest enters the sacristy to begin vesting, he first washes his hands. While washing his hands, he says the prayer, Da Domine, virtutum manibus meis, ad abstrigendum omnem macuram, utsini produzione mentis et corpris variam tibi servire. The priest then approaches the vesting table. He should be clothed in black shoes and cassock and remove his watch and any other jewelry. He may also remove his fascia. The priest then prepares the chalice for Mass. The cross at the base of the chalice should be facing forward. If the chalice does not have a cross, the priest should note some image or marking on the chalice as a reference point. This is so that the same side of the chalice will always be used when pouring in the water and wine and when drinking the precious blood and the ablutions. The purificator is laid over the top of the chalice with the cross in the center and the ends draped over each side. The paten is laid on top of the purificator with a large host placed in the center. The pall covers the paten. The chalice veil is then draped over the whole chalice so that the front part of the chalice is completely veiled. Usually there will be a decorative design on the front of the chalice veil which should face forward. The corporal should have been folded and ironed previously in the following manner. The corporal is first folded into thirds, the bottom third folded up and the top third down. Then in thirds again, first the right side and then the left. The folded corporal is then placed inside the burse with the open ends facing out. The burse is laid on top of the chalice with the closed fold towards the front and the open end towards the back. Each of the vestments has a prayer which is proper to it and the priest should say this prayer as he puts on each of the vestments. He begins with the amis taking it by the cords and kissing the cross in the center. He then draws his right hand over his head, touches the amis to his head briefly and begins the prayer. Impone Domine capiti meo gallium salutis, ad expugnandos diabarucus incursus. He wraps the amis around his neck so that the collar is completely covered. He crosses the right cord over the left, draws them around his back, and ties them in front. He tucks in the edges of the amis as necessary to cover the collar. He next takes the alb as he begins the prayer. De alba me domine et mundi cor meum, ut in sanguine ani delbatus gaudius perfua sempiternis. He first puts in the right sleeve, followed by the left. The server may assist the priest to make sure the alb falls evenly at his feet. It should cover the cassock completely and hang within a few inches of the floor. The server then presents the cincture, which the priest takes in both hands and girds himself as he says the prayer. Precinge me domine cinguru puritatis, et extingue in lumbis meis, humorum lepidinis, ut maniat in me virtus cantenensit castitatis. He makes a knot in front and pulls it tight, leaving the ends hanging at the middle. He then checks to make sure the alb hangs evenly all the way around. The priest then takes the maniple, kisses the cross in the center, and puts it on his left arm as he says the prayer. Maria Domine, portare manipulum fetus et dolores, ut cum exultatione recipiam macedam laboris. The maniple should be placed on the forearm towards the elbow, but not further. It is secured either with an elastic band or, more traditionally, with a maniple pin. The priest then takes the stole and kisses the cross in the center as he begins the prayer. 
Veri mici Domini solum in mortalitatis, quam pedidi in prevedicatione primi parentis, et quam vis indignus acerua tuum sacrum mysterium Maria tamen gaudium sempiternum. He places it over his neck with the cross at the center. He then crosses the ends in front, right over left. He secures each end with the cincture, making two loops on either side, through which he then puts the ends of the cincture, allowing them to hang on either side. The priest then puts on the chasuble, assisted by the server. As he puts his head through, he says the prayer. Domine quid existi, jugum meum suave est donus meum leve, fac ud istud putare sic variam, quod consequa tuam gratiam. Amen. Once the priest is fully vested, he picks up the chalice with his left hand and turns it so that the veiled side is facing away from him. He takes his beretta and covers his head, making sure the middle fin is towards his right. He then places his right hand on top of the burse to steady the chalice. The priest and server both bow their heads to the cross in the sacristy and then proceed to the altar. The server may give the priest holy water at the entrance to the chapel. It is also customary for the server to ring a bell as they enter to alert the people that Mass is beginning. They then proceed to the altar.